an astronaut? Well, he mentioned it in his mother's eulogy, so why not? I can't believe you have to fill out a preschool application for an infant. Uh, the one at Caltech has a crazy wait list. I warned you, a lot of people apply when they're still pregnant. Well, I didn't. I also skipped a birthing class to see Zootopia, so back off. Oh, just trying to help. Sorry, Howie's back at work and there's just so much going on. Is there anything we can do? Sure. Open up a college fund, shop for life insurance, and in the laundry room, there's a mountain of dirty laundry. Wash it or burn it, your choice. <laughs> oh, no, no, I will take care of it. Thank you. While I'm gone, you can think about how mean you were to me. All right, you know what you need? A night away from all of this. You know, where you can just kind of relax and... Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> turn this off. Much better. <clears throat> Seriously, let's plan a night. You know, give you a break. Well, we could go dancing. That seems really nice. Oh, all this week, the Early Music Society of Pasadena is doing a joint concert with the San Gabriel Renaissance Choir. <laughs> okay, that's the one to beat. Good luck. People have been saying that for 600 years. <laughs> Hey, you're home early. You'll never believe it. Leonard gave me the most incredible gift. A trip to a historic railway. And I get to operate an actual locomotive. Wow. He finally used it? What'd you do? <laughs> no idea. All I know is, I'm gonna be working on the railroad all the live long day. <laughs> Well, I'm really happy for you. Oh, no, it's not just me. The, the, the railway is four hours from the nearest airport, and guess who gets to drive me? I give up. You! No, I really give up. <laughs> oh, oh, and guess where we get to sleep? Our choice of a turn-of-the-century railway bunkhouse or a working caboose. Now, the problem with the caboose is there's no bathroom. But the problem with the bunkhouse is it's not a caboose. <laughs> On the first day, I get to drive a steam engine. <laughs> On the second day, a diesel engine. Oh, and if I volunteer to do track maintenance and paperwork, they'll let me stay as long as I want. So you might want to pack enough clothes for the rest of our lives. Can I pee now? Oh, get this. I get to take a test based on a 125-page manual. I get to learn things like hand signals. Whoa, there's forward, the reverse, you set the brakes. Are you done yet? You're missing some great stuff out here. Oh, this is good. There are dozens of railroad crossings you have to blow the whistle for. You know, that is the figurative you, not the literal you. I'll be blowing the whistle. Amy, get up. It's time to go to work. Oh. I apologize. It is so warm in here. It is warm in here. <laughs> up a bit of a sweat. Me too. May I borrow your water? Light's green. Sorry. GPS says we'll be at the railway in three hours. I can get us there in two. 